Radio and television has taught me everything I really wanted to learn coming into VMT. Being four years in this department has only taught me to be patient, helpful, a better leader, and of course, a more experienced future news reporter. I'd like to thank Mr. Amperial and Mr. Dan for always helping me in anything and everything I needed since freshman year. Classmates, I truly do not have any words to thank you and how grateful I am to have met you guys. I'm glad I joined this class at the beginning due to the amount of things I have learned and how this wonderful experience will help me for future preferences. So thank you to my teachers, my friends for traveling with me in this amazing journey. Finishing high school, graduating, and soon starting a family. Things happen for a reason. My friends, my mom, and my sisters. Here's one number to keep in mind during your next cell phone conversation. According to Science News, a new experiment shows that spending 50 minutes with an active phone pressed up to your ear increases activity in the brain. When cell phones are on, they emit energy in the form of radiation that could be harmful especially after years of cell phone usage. The human brain is sensitive to the electromagnetic radiation that is emitted from cell phones. Scientists who worked on the study found a connection with brain activity. We wanted to find out what the students from the VMT had to say about this. Students got some help preparing for their upcoming test at the Vidal and Trevino Magnet School. With Texas around the corner, LSD invited a motivational speaker from Dallas to help students do well on their state mandated test. Great clues and team impact give the students advice about their choices in life, their dreams, and how they impact life. Dolphins play an excellent part in our ecosystem. They may live in the ocean, but they are mammals that have fully adapted over the years to live in water. They are amongst the most intelligent animals, and their often friendly appearances of seemingly playful attitude have made them popular in human culture. Dolphins are an increasingly popular choice of animals, used for therapy, for psychological problems, and disabilities. The number of militaries have also employed dolphins for various purposes, from mining mines to rescuing lost or trapped humans. Many people don't realize the important role that dolphins play. By using their teeny study the behavior and intelligence of dolphins, perhaps we can better understand how to save them and learn more about what makes them special. For VMT News, I'm Victor Gomez. And I'm Suzanne Vaughn. For the first time, guests can visit the wizarding world of Harry Potter and stroll the streets of Hogsmeade, exploring the sights, sounds, and magical words therein, and experience the thrilling, the rides, and attraction that bring the adventures of Harry Potter and his friends to life. My name is Susie Gamba, and follow me in this magical journey as we stroll around the Hogwarts castle. Every October for the past 18 years, the U.S. and Mexican communities throughout the Rio Grande, Rio Bravo rivers celebrated Dia del Rio. Mayor Raul Salinas, Judge Danny Valdez, and Regidor Jose Martinez from Nuevo Laredo presented the signed proclamation that every October was going to be known as Dia del Rio. On April 29, 2013, David Alan Trevino, School of Communications and Fine Arts, staff, and several alumni were invited to the groundbreaking ceremony where the new VMT building will be located at. The event was held at J.W. Nixon High School parking lot. Dr. Marta Villarreal explains to us the feelings and emotions that went through her mind on that very important day. On October 11, the Mexican Council, located in downtown Laredo, was offering free vaccines to any Mexican or American citizen that needed them. Many nurses from the city of Laredo Health Clinic came down to help in this generous cause. Merari Teran, a Laredo health educator that gave aid to the event, talks about the reasons they offer vaccines for everyone. We are trying to provide flu vaccine to the uninsured population that comes here to the Mexican consulate. Ivona Aguirre, coordinator of this health fair, explained to us how deeply important it is to help the Mexican community in giving these services. Underage drinking is a serious issue among adolescents. An estimated 10 million young people under the age of 21 begin to consume liquor in the past month. So many more are using alcohol during school. Oh my god, Alfie, what happened? Alfie! Underage drinking is a widespread offense that can have serious physical, neurological, and legal consequences. Parents, teachers, counselors are there. Talk to them. They listen. Students should try to apply in their junior year and all throughout senior year. 
Remember to apply to as many scholarships as possible so there is a much greater possibility for you to receive scholarship funds. For BMT News, this is Susana Galvan. The students were taken to a computer classroom where Ms. Ana Laura Salinas, our VMT counselor, and six seniors from our audio video department explained to the students the many advantages there is in joining the magnet. And then what my this clock never For BMT News, this was Susana Galvan.